Wow. Can y'all tell I didn't sleep last night? <sighs> I am so exhausted. Howdy y'all, it's Jamie with another video. Thanks so much you guys for keeping up with me and just being constant. I really, really, really do appreciate it. And I think so today's video is gonna be one of those. I figured I would talk to you guys about um, something that I also feel passionate about and that is mental health. It's okay to feel what you feel. It, what you feel is completely valid. And no one can tell you that you can't feel this way or that you don't uh, no one's gonna understand no one's in your head <laughs> the important thing is that you do something about it and not sit there and wallow in these feelings you know because at the same time you can't sit there and just pity me woe is me i'm so sad i'm so this and i'm so everything and then instead of doing something about it you just rather sit there and blame the world for your problems as much as I love to tell people that it's okay to feel, I also tell them that it's not okay to sit there and do absolutely nothing about it. So I wanted to talk about what I used to do and what I am trying to pick right back up. So when I was, <laughs> let's just say pre-army, I used to write a lot. I used to love to write. It was like my, de-stressor it was something where I could just get out my emotions because you know like what are you supposed to do with everything that goes on in your head I just wanted to show you guys like it's small but I used to write a lot this this uh diary dates back from 2005 and it's been written in for three years because the last entry was in let me see 2008 so that just tells you guys that I used to write a lot and I honestly, it, I loved it. It was just so good to just get it out on paper. But it is actually a very healthy way to do things. I know that that's more old school and people don't really like to do it anymore that I know of. I mean, cause I don't know anyone that writes a journal anymore. Like it's not like someone's like, oh yeah, you know, I'm gonna write about this tonight in my journal. It just, <laughs> I don't hear these things, but I, try picking it up after the military i came back home and you know it it was kind of weird because the things that i used to like to do a lot um just weren't as appealing anymore i, I felt like it, i was just this completely different person writing was exhausting it was a chore to me uh, afterwards and same with a lot of other things that i used to like to do so I had a no way again of just de-stressing and then if anything all I was doing was just being angry or de-stressing in the wrong ways. So I was in Barnes & Noble the other day with my sister and she came across uh, this book. Of course it got my attention and I looked at it and I was like, oh it's a journal, you know, it's for you to write a journal. So when I looked at it more, it really intrigued me and I said, you know what, maybe this is going to give me that little kick that I need to start something positive back up again. So I bought it and I wanted to share it with you guys because I'm thinking, you know, if if it intrigued me to do something that I used to like find so daunting, maybe it, it will intrigue you guys to go out there and get it and buy it for yourself and maybe help you. So it's called Own Your Life, an interactive journal. So basically, um, what it is there, sorry, a little too many. Uh, what it is, is a journal that prompts you to write, um, whatever the subject that it wants you to write about, but it'll tell you the subject, um, uh, which I thought is interesting because that was one of the things that I did lose was my creativity, my imagination in a sense. Like I just felt like I would sit there and have the pen in my hand and I'm just like, this is dumb. And I just couldn't do it. So for something to tell me like, you know, uh, give me something to write about, I was like, oh, well then, you know, that makes it easier. That that gets my brain on a roll. Like, you know, whatever the subject is, let me just flip to a random one that I haven't done yet. Um, jot down four recent things you consider failures. Now, consider a couple of things you've learned from each one. Starts out with something uh, like a little, a little insert for you to read and just, be able to get into the zone and then it'll give you your activity if you want to call it activity of the day so i just started so i've only gotten through two and 
I just loved it because, you know, it doesn't just start you right away with writing. It starts you with like, these little quiz just to kind of get you like, where are you at in your current situation in life? And what are you trying to get out of this journal? And then it'll give you your results, whether, you know, you are, you know, perhaps you feel as if you've lost yourself in a bit of life's madness, or you're kind of in the middle where you might find that you need to dedicate some time to work out the direction you're headed in. I think it was so cute. It was so interesting. And I said, you know, that that's something I can get with. That's something I could definitely give it a shot. And so far I am finding it fun. I just love that it's going to help get my mind off of things because, you know, as as life just comes on, especially when things are changing, you know, for me, it was, you know, becoming a mom. It was just hard to be able to keep everything out of your head, especially the negative things. Cause that's what I tend to do a lot is I doubt myself about everything. I doubt um, my mothering capabilities more than anything right now. You know, am I being a good enough mom? Am I still, um, giving him 110%. And then it goes back to, am I still being a good wife to my husband? Am I ignoring him? Am I making him feel less than because I literally dedicate everything to the baby? Or am I giving my family enough attention? Am I still being a good enough daughter to my parents? Am I being a good older sister? Am I showing my sister a good example? Like literally you guys, everything like from having to be the daughter, the sister, the mother, the, the wife. It, I can't imagine that anybody out there can really handle all this perfectly. I think everyone should be able to grab hold of themselves and, and try to better themselves. And if you gotta do it yourself, then do so. Do it, do it for yourself because that's what you should do it for first. If you can sit there and give yourself the, the loving and caring that you need, then you are gonna be a better person and being able to admit that to everybody else, you know? Can't take care of anybody else if you can't take care of yourself. So you guys remember that, you know? I was there at one point, I thought my life was falling apart because, because of myself too, you know? I put myself in situations that I'm just like, you know, I wanna sit there and blame everybody. I needed to fix myself if I wanted to fix everything else around me. It took me years to get it together. So don't feel bad if you feel like, you know, let's say you've been saying since 2017 that you were going to get your life in order. That's okay if, if it's now 2020 and you still haven't done so, you know, maybe just get yourself a little more focused. Give yourself some time and attention. You all need to just realize that it's not selfish to want to take care of yourself. It's not selfish that you want to move in a positive direction. And if people are getting mad at you for wanting to go up, then those are not the right people that you need to be surrounding yourself with. So I encourage everybody to look into it. If journaling is not your thing, then that's okay, uh, figure something else out. Um, it's just for me, this is the only one that I really knew how to do. This is $20, like it was $19.99, uh, $20, you know, and if you have a membership of Barnes & Noble, you get 10% off, and they do send you coupons in the mail too. So, you know, if you decide to sign up and then get the 10% off, or just wait a bit longer and then eventually they'll send you a 25% off coupon, then there you go, a little bit of money off of it if you really wanna invest in it. And you know, they also have different ones that I'm sure are not as new, so you don't, won't pay as much. So definitely you guys look around, look into it. Uh, I'm sure there's different versions of interactive journals and they might be all exciting. Next thing you know, you have a collection and then you keep them and then years down the road, you can look back like I did with this guy. Guys, I just really want to encourage people and hopefully inspire them to really grow and uh, be able to rise above the nonsense. If anything we should try and do in life in 2020, it should be trying to write, like rise above the nonsense. If you feel like there's certain people, even if they're related to you, that are just bringing you down constantly. So thank you guys so much for watching and just listening to me blabber on about things. I hope that I can definitely push you guys in a more positive direction. And please like this video and subscribe. It should be down on this side in the corner. Yes, I'm finally learning where the button is. 
a little pink button that says subscribe. Go ahead and share this video with people that you feel like need a little bit of positivity in their lives or something positive to do an outlet. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and until the next video, bye.